finished? I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye, Eivor. This place is heavily guarded.
need your eyes, my friend. Let's go hooded here. Tell the gods you need that Eivor sends you. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Ubisoft News Plays. Happy Friday. We're Happy playing Friday. Assassin's Creed Valhalla today. My name is Yusuf McGee. I'm Chris Waters, and folks, not only are we playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we're giving away codes for the game, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We've got codes for Xbox One, S, and X. We've got codes for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC. If you want to enter to win, join us in the Twitch chat at twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. If you're watching on YouTube, we're happy to have you there too, of course. But uh, Twitch chat's going to be where you're going to be able to enter to win once the raffle period goes live. We'll tell you all about that once we kick it off in just a few minutes with our first giveaway. But before we get there, my man Yusuf is here, running through a field, large sword on your back, still maintaining a great pace. I mean, the fitness Thank you. Thank here you. Is, just, is just impressive. You know, I pride myself and my Eivor on being in peak physical condition at all times, mm -hmm. Chris. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing does it quite like running uphill with uh massive steel weapons on your back in uh in you know sub sub-zero temperatures and hunting wild boars watch out they got tusks gotta say yusuf i feel like i'll be really oh my god <laughs> what was that i'm sorry i don't know all the moves that you can do yusuf here is like your max level right yes so i am uh i'm level 400 that is max level in the game uh, I, it means I have all of the skills unlocked. Um, I believe all of the abilities, although I think there's one that hasn't been upgraded all the way just yet. Um, I thought you were max level, you <laughs> These boars don't even know what hit them. No. I gotta Eivor say, Boar Slayer, that's my name. Encountering, like, 
feral boars in the woods, I really, is, I never want to do it. Never want it to happen. I don't want a boar getting mad at me and running up on me. I do not carry large weapons on my back for boar attacks, and I just don't want to live my life that way. That's that's valid, Chris. I would Thank never you. ask I you to. It. <laughs> Ex rebel remembering uh, a funny moment from our countdown, saying Yusuf got sent off the building earlier. <laughs> yes. So I did <laughs> that on purpose. So, uh, Chris, I was talking to you that there. You know, I'm playing this game. I'm uh, I'm, I'm aiming to to 100 percent it, uh, mm -hmm. as they say. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the achievements is to get thrown 30 meters or more. Um, by one of the Goliath uh, enemies that, that can pick you up and throw you. And I happened to know that there was one up there, um, and I figured the elevated position would help me achieve the requisite distance. And you figured off. right, buddy. It paid off. <laughs> <laughs> so go get yourself chucked off uh, the top of some ruins if you want to earn that achievement or trophy. Uh, folks in the Twitch chat, I see all y'all sounding off about the platform you want to win a code on. Let me tell you. We are going to give you the instructions on how to enter the raffle. The raffle is not open. Typing what code, you, what what uh, platform you want it is not going to do anything right now. So let's all behave ourselves. Let's all have a fun chat. And then once it's raffle time, go crazy with spam in the chat. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, TRJ saying, I was wondering why he wasn't fighting him first. Now you know. Inside That's the exactly. mind of Yusuf. Uh, trying to get those achievements. Nothing, nothing but, uh, you know. Warning. If you are reading this, you need to leave. What? Chris, you just, now... Did you even read that warning? I, I read the warning. I read the warning. Okay. I'm aware. I'm aware. It's because, you know, there's. I believe there's a curse symbol here. But, uh, Chris, now, I, I know you, all right? When you go running around England, Norway, you're just eating mushrooms and cranberries willy-nilly, all right? Not Fungi paying attention to what you're putting in your body. No, it's my thing. Fungus tourism. I want to go places exactly. and have new experiences mm -hmm. and test mm -hmm. the limits of my gastrointestinal system. That's what I do. I love it. And we know this about you. And this is that's where you're going to get into trouble. All right? Because if you eat these blue roundheads, Chris, uh huh, it's not going to heal you. It's not going to give you adrenaline points. It's going to hurt you. What, so they look a little wavy, weird. What <laughs> what could be wrong with that? <laughs> Are you saying these 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 look appetizing? Eat them. Put them in your mouth. Eat them. Eat them. I will do it. I will do it for the sake of chat. Ow, that hurt. That took half my health. <laughs> oh, your tummy's so rumbly. <laughs> oh, I wish Eivor could vomit. Just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, there's certain things about the, you know, in terms of making video games more realistic that I think we just don't really need. Vomit is one of them. V vomit is one of them. Right. Bass Mode Pro says, I love those mushrooms. They always get me. <laughs> you can always, like, just don't eat mushrooms around curse symbols. Like, if there's a curse symbol nearby. But those are the tasty ones, Hannah Assassin saying, don't eat those. Well, uh, yeah, that would be smart, but no. It's like one That's of those things where I'm here to play the, the role of Loki, the mischievous uh, stream partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you've ever had a like a friend or, or a loved one who, despite being allergic to something, loves it and insists ah. on eating it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to think that those people are like low key cursed, <laughs> like not bad cursed, and like it's actually like making your life super bad. Just that uh, you know, it's you have this burden to bear that you love it, but it's uh, it makes your tummy so rumbly. Makes my tummy rumble. Dan O'Reaver says, any chance you guys are going to upgrade the Raven like in Odyssey? Well, Yusuf, let's take a look at your Raven here real quick. Oh, you want it? Yeah. Let's do bird, bird mode. Cast about this land so I'm using the white Senu skin, actually. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. might be a little... I don't know if that's little... meant by upgrade, but like, uh, Senu. Shout out to Senu. Love oh, that yeah. bird. Miss you, miss you, girl. Well, the funny thing is, so white, the white Senu skin specifically was a reward for completing all of the tours in Discovery Tour in Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, so, uh, Assass or Discovery Tour Ancient Egypt, uh, to be precise. So, if you but did you pass the quiz at the end about testing your knowledge? So there was no quiz in the Origins I'm version. I made in the Ancient up. Egypt version. <laughs> but yeah, this is my uh, Sunin slash Senu. <laughs> because I'm using that skin. But there are a ton of skins. Um, if you go to, uh, if at any point you go to any of the stables, um, not even just in your settlement, but just in any town, there you can buy and customize your mount and raven skins. And speaking of mount, 
It's called Speaking lion. of mount, here comes your giant wolf. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> the big bad wolf, Chris. Oh man, look at this thing. Can we get? Can you like go on? A, I don't know if you have a destination in mind, but yeah, I want to see some like panning around this wolf, like. Some panning. Ah, this is the thing about animal fur. You always want it to be soft and plush, like a stuffed animal. But is is this wolf's like animal fur is not soft and plush? It's coarse. It's protection. <laughs> Especially a wolf of this size, I can't imagine it would be very soft. You got to get down in there for the soft part. <laughs> Zerblin saying, "Big dog, oh!" <laughs> <laughs> Bower socks, heck yes, a giant wolf for the win. Uh, heck yes. Can you still get that white center skin, Dizzy Death? Yeah, I think Yusuf said you can get it by completing all the tours on Discovery Tour Ancient Egypt. Was that right? Well, so, so that's how you got it in Origins, uh, I believe. Uh, uh, it's a Ubisoft Club reward. So if you have the Ubisoft Club points... Uh, yeah, yeah, Ubisoft Connect, go to your sorry, app there Ubisoft and Connect, check it out. Right. Uh, and then see what's up. Giant doggy wolf hype says W chillin'. <laughs> yes, I love it. All right, so Bananas. There is, There are softy doggos also. Any dog you encounter in settlements and stuff, you can pet. Let's so, uh, see if we can find a dog here. We're in a area with people. Where there are people there might be dogs. Wow, there. that person is large. That was a... I like how some of the... <laughs> you just have... Some people are very large and some people aren't. Because that's life. That is. So, but Chris, I should I should give a little bit of an update. So, we are in the Snottinghamshire region. Um, I'm sorry. Could, what? Yes. What is the mm -hmm. name of this? Support, please? Mm. <laughs> yes. Snottinghamshire. <laughs> oh. Must be just a real proud... To live there it's actually funny town. so i mean shout out to to our friends over at uh gamespot they put together a really good video um uh so some of their their uk uh folks there put together a really good video about like the naming conventions um uh -huh. of regions there and how like shire is like a city or collection you know a town and then okay. snotting like like e each word gets broken down into like like uh parts and that like kind of like explains what it is like if it's named the shire if it's named a ton, a ton or whatever yeah like essex okay. and wessex and sussex that's like southeast west like i don't see any nussex up in here mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. that's true that's get, true i don't know get it together ninth century england <laughs> grill sergeant inconsistent said, it's not funny chris it's not funny. <laughs> i approve <laughs> that was good that was good uh who is snorting ham good question Black so, legit. funny fun fact, Yusuf. I grew up in a town called Needham. 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 Just those two did words. You, did you did you pronounce it Needham or did you pronounce it Needham? Needham. You say Needham. Needham. We were next to Dedham. Deadham. There's definitely a point in my life when I was amused by that. And that <laughs> point is now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, King Yusuf is playing with the Xbox controller because we're playing on the Xbox Series X here. Oh, well, vandalism. Nice. Fun. Thank you. Thank fun. you. Uh, yeah, no, good tip, fun fact here, that if you if you ever don't know, if, because there's a lot of surfaces you need to break in Valhalla. Let's just be honest. You're a Viking, you break things. That's how it goes. But do it. also to solve puzzles and to get into inaccessible places. Uh, and anytime you're aiming with your reticle and it turns red, that means that's a breakable thing. And it oh. can even just be, it doesn't have to be floorboards or walls uh, or windows. It can also just be pots. That's cool. Oh, that one didn't just break, it exploded. Uh, yeah, I had a great moment where I was able to do that when a person was walking on this like ledge outcropping and then they just fell to their death. It was delightful. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Uh, so the Stottinghamshire uh, arc, Chris, can, you know, again, each region in the Assassin's Creed Valhalla has its own little like micro story that's, you know, anywhere from like two to three hours long. Um, yeah. And this one, you get summoned by your old friend Vili. Uh, Vili, of course. Exactly, Vili. right? Vili. My, my buddy? My pal. Your pal. Uh, Vili is the son of a great Jarl, Jarl Hemming. And you get summoned, and turns out uh, Jarl Hemming is on, on his last few days. And it seems like Vili uh, is going to need to succeed him, but uh, doesn't exactly want to. Doesn't... Uh, doesn't doesn't have an eye for leadership, an eye for the uh, for the Jarlship, if you will. And really, so, this does not doesn't want to ascend to the throne. 
exactly exactly okay so so uh it's up to you now there's another there's another possible option for for yarl that um you have to kind of help um you have to sort of just like it, it's I'm, I'm not there yet i haven't done it yet so i don't know but uh it seems like you have to kind of prep the either uh prep Vili for the yarl ship or decide that uh this other person should should take up the mantle um, but we will find out because I have not find out, found out myself. Uh, but first, well, I'm going to do the sync point. And while Yusuf is doing the sync point, folks, we're going to gear up for our first giveaway. We are going to be doing four giveaway periods during this stream. We're giving away codes for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This video game you're watching right here for the full game, we're going to do codes for uh, four different waves. First wave, because we're playing on Xbox Series X, we're going to do the Xbox codes. These will work on Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and Xbox Series X. So, UB Yubble is our mod in the chat. Shout out to that guy, doing the great work in there. Uh, take a look there, he's going to open up the giveaway, he's going to tell you what to put in, and then what you're going to do is put that, type in that command one time, you'll be entered, and that's it. And All then you gotta we're gonna do, just one time. The raffle will be open for a little bit. We'll close it, and then the winners will be chosen. We'll send them the code. We'll confirm via Twitch Whisper, which is like a DM, and then we'll send them the code. And hooray huzzah. The giveaway is now open. You see Mubot saying it right there. Type in hashtag giveaway in the chat. This is for Xbox. We're going to be giving away Xbox codes. If you don't have an Xbox, if you want to win it on a different platform, wait. We're going to have those a little later. This is your Xbox giveaway chance. Hashtag giveaway. These are Xbox codes for the full game. And you can breathe in beautiful sync points like that. I mean, it's just like uh, very refreshing. I know. I never get tired of them, Chris. Sometimes mm -hmm. I will just, because, you know, you use them as fast travel points. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you arrive, you get there at the very top. I'll just sync it up anyway. You know, just hit it again. That was a long fall. All the way down. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think at this point we can, uh, so I, you know, I've been 100 percenting each region, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, as is my nature. You could see Yorvishire here, 100 percented. Yorvik, 100 percented. No problem. Lincolnshire, 100 percent. Boom. East Anglia, done. Also, a lot of pictures. You, you got look photo happy over in East Anglia. I did. I did. East Anglia was pretty. Uh, Grandbridgeshire, still missing one artifact and one mystery. I need to do a lot of fishing to complete this altar. Haven't done but that. But what yet. are we doing here in Snottinghamshire? I can't believe you chose this region to make me say that on stream. Just Chris, you specifically yes. chose it for that reason. That's exactly why I chose it. That's exactly why. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to head, so Tale of Two Jarls, that's the sort of arc name. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to head in the direction of our good friend Vili. Uh, and Let's then do it. Trigiv, Trigiv also is the other um, potential Jarl. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you mm -hmm. know, there's, there's, it seems like there's fun and things along the way. So we will hit those along the way. I'm going to head north over land exactly. on the way, bushwhacking through Snottinghamshire. All right, folks. Bushwhacking through Snottinghamshire. What a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> uh, just like really whacking through the snot here. Just uh, going overland. You're you're making trekking trails of. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will have to resist. Uh, okay. A few notes here. Mm. Chris needs a tissue every time saying Snottinghamshire says <laughs> deep person. I need something. All right. This is your last chance, folks, to type hashtag giveaway into the Twitch chat to enter to win a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla on Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X. It'll work on all those platforms. And if you have an Xbox One, you enter it on that. Later, you get a, you upgrade to a Series S or X. It will transfer. It'll upgrade without it, with no cost, uh, and you'll be able to carry through your progression there. Uh, so go ahead. get. You only needed to type it once. Type it once, and then the giveaway is going to close once Mubot and Josh are intrepid, uh, ub -able. Mod, say so. Mm -hmm. What did I say about breakable surfaces, Chris? Break them. Smash them. Break them. Break them. X Noodle Boy is saying, I'm getting a Series X when my application gets accepted. Hey, uh, good luck to you getting that application accepted. You'll deserve it. You deserve it now, but it's a good reward for whatever you're applying for. Yusuf, why is it spooky here? There's a cursed symbol, Chris. That seems bad. Isn't that where the tasty mushrooms are? 
Oh, oh, okay. I think I know. I think I know where I gotta go. Climbing up the tree. The tree that is strung up with the bones of people. People bones. People bones. Do I need to fit in here? Up it in. Mm. Okay, mm, maybe folks, not oh, there. Oh. As maybe. Yusuf is climbing around here, folks who grew up in cold climates, I want you to think about at what point does an icicle stop being beautiful, whimsical, fun to knock down, and start being like dangerous video game spike hanging precariously from a ledge. There's a point, right? There's a point where you're like, nah, that's gonna get a little gnarly. 18 feet long, says Warner Bros. I'm glad you have a precise number. <laughs> Here we go. When it's above you, says Fletchette, that's the point. That, that's the point. You, said you destroyed the cursed symbol. I did. That, Destroying I say, cursed stuff, yay or nay? Does that mean the curse passes to you? Does that mean the curse dissipates? No, the curse is gone, Chris. That's the first thing they teach you about curses. Curse Listen, 101. I did not take Curse 101. Uh, it cool. shows. It shows. It, it does. That's fair. You know, learning is a lifetime experience. Okay, so folks, the giveaway is over now. Our Xbox code giveaway is over. Please stop typing hashtag giveaway into the chat for the time being. We'll let you know when to start again. And it looks like UB Yubble is drawing those and confirming who the winners are. All right. When it's bigger than your arm, says Big Boy Water. Icicle, yeah. Chris, the yeah. perfect I murder weapon. Good. Yeah. Here's the thing it's about ice, ice going. If you're going to murder someone with it, I feel like you need a big one that's like a bludgeon. Because... The whole sharp icicle tip thing, I just feel like the tips break. Unless maybe it falls directly on your skull, I don't know. Folks, share your icicle murder tips in chat. <laughs> just kidding, please don't. Probably not. not. It's rated M for mature. I mean, we're doing Zofox murder Master, right now. Zofox Master, we will be giving away PlayStation codes later. We The giveaway is not active right now, so uh, we'll let you know when to start typing hashtag giveaway again. But in the meantime, watch Yusuf stab this guy right in his hips. Oh no! Where are we getting stabbed? I don't think we're. Where, where are we seeing? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think we we're. Everything safe. okay? Oh, the person's sleeping. Okay, now we got seen. We got seen. Um. Okay. Yo! Oh my God! Such a large. Oh, the flip over the back into the jumping the. No legs. Is that both legs? Is that two? <laughs> yes, two both one? legs in one sweep, Chris. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, oh really. that's how we do it. That's how a board does really. it. Compact Dad, Yusuf is playing. He is our high-level Assassin's Creed Valhalla player. Yeah, this is my full build Eivor. Um, I am at... I am at Skill level 400, that is the max, and then uh, have a decent amount of mastery points as well. That's actually something that's worth pointing out. Um, so I get this tungsten ingot. Um, so once you reach 400, that means your entire skill tree has been filled. Wow, then, look at them skills. Oh, I know, I know, Chris. The constellations in the sky. It's uh, beautiful. But once you do that, then these four, uh, these three mastery things open. Will you so linger on one for long enough for me to read it, please? I know. I was, I was just showing them first. All right. So <laughs> one is the bear mastery, Thank and you. it increases increases melee damage, melee resistance, and health. The wolf mastery increases range damage, range resistance, and health. And then the raven mastery increases assassin damage, evasion, and health. So they all increase your health. Uh, and then. The more stealth route, the more long range route, and the more melee focused route. And you can invest uh, as many points as you want into these. And similar to when uh, you leveled up and you got two skill points, this time when you level up, you'll get one mastery point. Or when you do things like a um, standing stone challenge or a Karen challenge, you'll you'll get one mastery point. Mm, and you can, yeah. Master of rock that. balancing. So your health can keep going up. Get them tungsten ingots. Oh yeah, Chris. Okay. We need that to get that upgrade wealth. our gear to mythical level. Oh, he's coming in hot. Oh, oh. oh, what's up? That's what you get for making stew. Now you can eat the stew? You're eat, your tummy's full. No, no. It, you know, I'm still feeling a little bit a little bit off from those those blue mushrooms you made me eat, Chris. 
Well, I mean, you did almost jump onto those large spikes. So get your head on straight, my friend. Ooh, stairs. Like ancient stairs. What are they leading up to? Come on, ancient stairs gotta go somewhere. Oh, what a shot. Nicely All done. In the boat. Oh, speaking of sand and stones. I'm saying the ancient stairs, they gotta go somewhere. I mean, that's environmental right. storytelling, y'all. Chris, right there, pick up on it. Pay attention. Jump into a freezing cold lake. Why not? Noodle Boy asking, do you have to speak French in all Ubisoft offices? No, but it helps. 420 Gamer saying, I've got over 200 hours in this already. Nice. 200? Yeah. I'm at like 100. So this is the shape we gotta, we gotta form, Chris. The only race with the strength to have moved such pillars with the power of the Lord behind them. Mm -hmm. Moving big against? pillars. Weird. Mm -hmm. Like how? Was it for the sin of people of other times? Was it to keep the demons out? The demons out. Brendan of Clonfort. All right. So we need to form this shape. How are you going to move these things? You're not going to move them. No, You're I don't have to move, move them. them in the right way. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, reflection. Oh, you tricky. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, you smashed the ice? Okay. Okay. To get so, there. So, yeah, well, the camera will kind of let you know when you're close and your controller will, will vibrate. There we go. Esk for the stone. What strange force is indeed. And there we go. We got a mastery point. That's cool. I have not done that yet. I like it. So nice peaceful, idea. just meditating. My penguin melting said, uh, 120 hours in, have Odin's staff and Excalibur plus full Thor armor. Ooh. The power of the gods. Indeed. I think I'm missing the Thor um, cloak. I think I have everything but the Thor cloak. Don't have Odin's staff, don't have Excalibur, but I think I'm close to Excalibur. Close to Excalibur. I believe in you, Yusuf. RWBY is saying, I do love the designs as well as the lore. Yeah. That's two, for sure. Oh. All right, you got the wealth, Yusuf. I got the wealth. I'm going to head. Now, no, where are you at? There's, all right, well, we're going to head in this direction, and then we'll you wrap go around. past it? Well, you know, it's it, we're just going to take a long turn. Oh, there's a thing up there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A wide, a well, wide can you turn. Go over the, can you go on the lake? Can we see a little boat action? Is there a lake like, that I missed? Yeah, like, yeah. If you head in that direction. Show me. There should be a lake. I thought I saw what looked like a lake. I'm no cartographer. I don't think there's a lake, Chris. This isn't what? a lake. This is just oh, the area that, of the map okay, I haven't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been discovered. Fair enough, fair enough. I also skipped cartogra video game cartography <laughs> at university. Chris, how many giveaways have we done? We've just done one, you said. One? I think it's time for a second. All right, let's get fired up and do a second one. Uh, this giveaway, so we already gave away Xbox codes. If you want to try to win an Xbox code, sorry, folks, that time has passed. Next coming up is going to be the PlayStation 4. We're going to be giving away PlayStation 4 codes. These are separate from PlayStation 5. The way the PlayStation uh, consoles work, PS4 and PS5 codes are separate. So PS4 is the one we're going to be giving away next. Once you see Moobot in the chat, open it up. Type in hashtag giveaway. Everyone who's been constantly typing hashtag giveaway in the chat, it's futile. An exercise in futility. But soon, it will be giveaway time. And remember, we're giving away two. Two of each code. So we already had two Xbox winners. <laughs> and they're starting. Okay, it's open. Let's go. Go, go, go. Type hashtag giveaway while Yusuf does more vandalisms. Uh, There's oh, a snake. Don't step on it. <laughs> That's how I feel about snakes. <laughs> he doesn't like them. He doesn't like them, folks. Oh. The old smash and sneak. Chris, what, what did we say about pots in our Immortals Phoenix Rising playthrough? If they're floating in the air, grab them and put them in your inventory. If they're on the ground, smash them. Exactly. Exactly. That's going to carry through. There's a few universal truths in the world. Uh, one of them, Chris, smash all pots in video games that are sitting Smash all pots in video games. Ace XIV saying, oh my god, there is still snake in this game. I'm afraid so, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Andy Capo on the uh, other side saying, poor snake. 
we're yes, snake. Indeed. We, got, we are. We like to represent both sides of the snake discourse. Oh, no. uh, both fear of and oh, that rabbit oh. is juking you, man. That rabbit is giving you the slip. You not let this time. It. Not this You're time, rabbit. Oh, oh. Jukes. There we go. Snow Fuck. bears got the jukes. Man, that was tough. I feel like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> but now you have the hare's foot. What's that? A squirrel? You shooting squirrels out here? I'm trying. This is my hunter oh, bow. Yet. You know, you think I, I, I'd be a better hunter with it. I find that the the light bows are best <laughs> for hunting. Actually, yeah, hunting. <laughs> Yubi Yubi was rooting for the hare. Uh, so sorry. Remember, folks. Hashtag giveaway now to enter. Oh, to that's a, a lot of blood for or for a squirrel. How oh, did, he, it, how did it fit so much blood inside of it? In his little body. In the blood bag. Pop oh, the blood bag. Body. Had so much blood. <laughs> uh, as Yusuf is getting closer here to our next sort of quest destination, hashtag giveaway to win a PlayStation 4 copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This we'll be picking the winners and sending you codes via private Goodness message on Twitch. Never disappoints. So this hey, is our friend it's Billy. Billy. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. Look at Billy's axe. To adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master artisan. craftsman in exile. Oh, he lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. So Billy's father, Hemingy Yarl, has passed away, and we are throwing a funeral for... R.I.P. Papa Billy. Did he not wield it at Ulkethor? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck. Be careful bending over when you got a battle axe on your and back here, Billy. After all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have the nose for these things. Hmm. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. All right. All right. So we need to find the exile who's going to give us the proper. Funeral gift for him and Yarl. You have an idea of where they are. Yes. All right. I want you to do a little stream uh, tech move here. Talk move our me. move our pips slightly up because it like slightly blocks long captions. Ah. Can do. Here, I'll help you out. I'll help. Oh, 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 Chris. There you go. Is that is that good? Yeah, I think that'll work. You're welcome, folks. Oh, you're strong. <laughs> I'm lifting. I project my strength through internet. Hitting them th that shoulder day. Yeah. Can't skip shoulder day? Is there a full day for shoulders? I have a full day for shoulders. My god. Survey oh. the area soon. Alright, so where are we looking here? So it looks We're trying like... to go to the entrance of Peak Cavern to the I... east of Hemthorpe. We're There's heading big... in the easterly direction. There's a big hole over here. And that looks like a. Yeah. Yeah, when there's a big hole outside in some rocks, usually that leads to a cave. Yeah. Someone yeah. went to Spelunking 101. <laughs> I have played a lot of Spelunking. You missed symbols and you missed cartography. Well, <laughs> but you, you made it to Spelunking. Oh, uh, dude, there are some places growing up where you could, like, crawl around in little caves. I used to love it until one time I was crawling around in a cave, like, on a, like, college trip. And I was trying to like squeeze through two that were like, uh, you know, squeezing on my belly through two that were on top and below me. And I'd got a little stuck and just had this moment of like, if any of this shifted ever so slightly, I'd be trapped here forever and die if I didn't die instantly. And I had like this very terrible claustrophobia fear of getting crushed come over me. I haven't really gone in a cave since. <laughs> Not that I've had a lot of, a lot of opportunities, but Ooh, thanks. I understand that. I understand that. I appreciate it. I appreciate your understanding. All right, folks, hashtag giveaway into the chat. Oh, it's closed. We had 718 folks enter for the PlayStation 4 giveaway. Dang. Please stop typing hashtag giveaway now. The PlayStation 5 giveaway and the PC giveaway will come later in the stream. Uh, but for now, we are selecting the winner for the PlayStation 4 codes for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The exile must typing. value solitude living in a hole such as this. Folks are asking to see uh, a little bit more in depth what your loadout is like and what your uh, appearance is like. So once you're out of this cave, once you're in a a, a different spot, let's, let's mark that on the, uh, the okay. itinerary, okay. if you don't mind. That's easy. We can do that. 
I love the torch in these games. I love just being able to pull out a torch and illuminate places. It makes them more beautiful. You can throw the torch on stuff, light stuff on fire. It's just really, it's really oh, delightful. It's oh, it's beard. Sometimes I like to, if there's like a note to read before I talk to someone, it usually gives like more color onto who this person is and what's going on with their life. Sometimes I like to read it before I talk to them. Leave the good <laughs> hermit alone. <laughs> so, okay, okay. I'd, I have a feeling you're not going to... Oh, well, Hemming is dead, this. Chris. We don't need to listen to him anymore. Sorry, Hemming. But he said you're if you're reading this... man to find. Uh. Hemming Ayal <laughs> is dead. Mm -hmm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Hemming Ayal. The stones. Heminga Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Hmm. Oh, we gotta build, I gotta build a pack. I gotta build a Karen stack, Chris. All right, Yusuf. I've heard tell of this Karen stacking as something that can be a bit challenging. Oh, this one. So, this is a piece of cake. Are you kidding oh, we got me? Three. Three. Kidding me? This is I can get this in like I can get this in two stones. Oh, because you gotta you gotta stack it up to that height. Yeah. You're you're calling it in two. That's what I want to see. I want to see this in two. Let's go. He's feeling very strong, folks. He's slowly dropping it on there. Oh, easy. It looks easy. Validate it. Your heart is not yet steady. What? How you know. Ending the Jarl's heart never wavered. What do you know about my heart? <laughs> I mean, I always had to stay hard. I mean, the girl's heart stopped now. <laughs> Who are you, Deming? Interesting. I like this. Who are you? A friend of Emminger's, or a man exiled by his order? Fast mod, thanks for checking in. Was. Have fun at work. I am nameless now. I am no one. Oh, don't be so down on yourself, buddy. Folks, the giveaway period is over. You don't need to keep typing giveaway. It is useless at this point. I like these candles. All right, what's he gonna do? How will you remember him? Oh, you gonna get to choose? By his strength with his what wisdom. What you know about Hemming? His determination. What you know about? Uh, him? he he felt like a wise man, Chris. Um, okay. And I think I think that is the most important facet of leadership. By his wisdom. Always an inspiration. The web of Weirstan. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, mm -hmm. present, Weird. future intertwined. Mm -hmm. Is this what you desire? Yes. I choose this one. I will begin. Shout out to face tattoos. You are, yeah, you are one to make some bold uh, choices, as we can see by your face tattoo use. Exactly. Exactly. Folks curious to know how you won. Uh, basically, what happens is the raffle feel? period ends. Fate. Our mod. Oh, here. I'll tell you in a second. Death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming the Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. What, this guy can't see no more? Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili Shrug. has no say. Fate has already decided. Interesting. Heming, I would be pleased with that gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. Very interesting. Hey, okay. helping out your buddy Vili. Nicely done there. Uh, folks, regarding the giveaway, pretty soon we'll be doing the next phase of the giveaway. It's not active now. The way it works is once it is opened in chat, you type in hashtag giveaway to enter. You only need to type it once. Then the giveaway period will be closed. You'll see another message from Mubot in chat saying it's closed. Then our mod will do a drawing randomly from those people. Those people will be announced as winners in the chat feed, and they'll be sent the code via Twitch Whisper, which is like a direct message that only they can see. That's how it goes down. But we're not doing it right now, so, you know, 
I want to know. All right, Yusuf, you're going to climb out into the wilderness here, oh, and we're oh, going to yes. take, we're gonna a, take look. a look at the, the inventory screen. Yeah, we want to see some inventory here. We want to see what you're what you're working with. All right, all right. Let's 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 check it out. While you're waist deep in snow, knee deep. So, you can see here, I got a. I'm rocking the Raven Clan armor set. Strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Raven Clan cloak, and you can see fully upgraded. Five out of five. All the all the white bars. Yes. Uh, not everything is fully upgraded. I still need to upgrade my helmet more, my bracers more, and my breeches. My breeches. 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 That's you told word. me this was max level. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I am max level. This is power level 400. Can't get higher than that. Uh, but yeah, and they are all rune, fully runed out, slotted in. Uh, and then... If you jump in here, I got... I have the Hidden Ones cloak uh, hood. I believe I have the whole mm. Hidden Ones set. We can take a look at that. Uh, Want to throw on some Hidden Ones? Oh, I haven't upgraded I need to upgrade the robes. But the nice thing about the Hidden One set is that yeah, it doesn't change appearance when you upgrade it, so we'll, we'll get an idea of what it looks like. All right, let's see. Um, hidden Ones. Hidden Ones mask. Ooh. Remember, folks, wear your masks. Wear your masks, folks. Eivor Wolf Kiss says, wear your masks for the good of the clan. So this is what the Hidden can't Ones get, can't outfit get into looks like. by not wearing a mask. Uh, I haven't upgraded this one all the way. Uh, that's something I'm waiting to do. I need to throw in some nickel and tungsten ingots into this uh, to upgrade that. Uh, but then I also... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of really good outfits. We can check out. Let's check out the Brigadine outfit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Very very sort of heavy appearance on this one. Very stud studly, yes. you say? Huh? Yeah. Of course, I always have, I always toggle the uh, armor, uh, the helmet off. Not a helmet guy. Okay. Okay. Lopez G saying, I rock the hidden one cape with Thor's armor. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Warner Bros. wondering, wait, does enemy's health scale as you continually upgrade your mastery? Do you know the answer? Uh, to so, en does, sorry, does enemy's health scale as, so as you're upgrading your mastery? No, so like, enemies' health uh, is around and six to what the region's um, power level is. So if you look at the world region, see Slottinghamshire is suggested power level 250. So that is what enemies are going to be around. Um, versus if you go somewhere more, uh, this is the only area, uh, Hamptonshire, 340. So suggested power level 340. Um, because I'm you could at have gone to Hamptonshire, but no, you gotta have me saying Snottinghamshire out here on stream. Yep, that's exactly it. <laughs> that's exactly why. Uh, I did this for you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, but I yeah, unlike you. previous uh, Assassin's Creed, like Odyssey and Origins, where every you know the entire map sort of progressed with your power level, staying sort of within one to two levels. Um, in in uh, Valhalla, they they stay true to uh, the the original level of the region. Righto. So where's next on our merry little adventure here? I am going to... So we're going to go... Uh, sorry, let me check in here. Oh, we're going to go talk to Trigvir. Trigvir. That's sorry. the other brother who could potentially inherit the Jarldom? Not a brother, sort of a, a wiser, older councilman. Uh, a friend ah. of, of uh, the late departed Hemingar Jarl. Okay. So reasonable claim to leadership posts within the clan. Yeah, and it's it's very much a situation where the men of the clan love Vili, love Vili. Vili is a selfless leader. He r dove headfirst into danger himself, picked up uh, people, saved them from burning bu uh, buildings, but doesn't want the leadership. Whereas uh, Trigvi, very good at the sort of logistics of. Uh, ruling of the day-to-day -day uh -huh. of the diplomacy of it all uh not sure. the best warrior not the bravest of hearts but um uh and and is fully resigned to the fact that the yarlship should go to vili does not I seem mean, like that's a selfish kind of a, person kind of culture he lives in right right oh wait i uh, should uh 
I and Alike sure wondering off. about your face tattoo, Yusuf. Oh, my face uh, tattoo. Is yes. that from the Helix store or is it a collectible? No, it's a collectible. So uh, if you find you find them out in the open world, uh, you chase them down like you did with the She Santies um, in Assassin's Creed Black Flag or the Almanac pages in AC3. You can do uh -huh. it that uh -huh. way. Uh, I also want to point out, I don't have... So I'm missing two important cloaks. I'm missing the Thor cloak and I'm missing the uh, Mentor cloak. So I'm going to put on the Hidden Ones cloak, and I want to show both of those other armors, because they are very cool as well. So Mentor Cool robes. armor. All right, folks, while Yusuf is playing dress up here, we are going to do another giveaway, this time for the PlayStation 5. If you've got a PlayStation 5, you want a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, this giveaway is going to be your chance. We're giving away two codes for the PlayStation 5. These will not work on PlayStation 4. They will only work on PlayStation 5. Once you see the giveaway open, I'll let you know. And then it'll be go, 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 type hashtag giveaway to win a code. You will All you need to do is type it once. You'll be entered the raffle. But uh, we're just going to wait to see in the chat once Moobot kicks it off. The giveaway is open. Boom. The giveaway's open. Thank you. Thank you, UB Able. The giveaway's mentor open. Type Chris. The mentor armor. Sure. Very, sure. very like AC Brotherhood-esque, very ornate belt with uh, a lot of strap. With a, a buckle. Straps. You know, with, with, a, with a symbol that is reminiscent of the Assassin's Creed A. Uh, and then I want to show off the... Not the outfit you want to wear when you're sitting down to feast. No, up to say. certainly not. Certainly not. Uh, we're going <laughs> to show off the Thor outfit. Again, Type I haven't upgraded all of these yet, but the Thor one also doesn't, uh, doesn't change its appearance. When you get it, it's already in its final appearance. You know, I'm having second thoughts about that one with a lot of belts. Maybe that is the one to wear during a feast because you can loosen the belts, whereas this whole, like, <laughs> chest piece operation really just locks it in. That's true. It does. It's fair. Uh, and I also have a skill, if some folks are wondering, there is a skill that you get, I believe, in the bear tree that allows you to dual-wield double-handed weapons. So normally when you first start the game, you can only uh, hold one dual-handed weapon, or you can dual-wield single-handed weapons or shields, things like that. Uh... My Eivor is just so strong, so yoked, uh, that she can dual wield two heavy uh, oh, items, yeah. or two heavy weapons. All right, who are we talking to here? Because you're talking about dual wielding awesome. weapons. And Shout I mean, out to this Hulu folk. Hulu folk oh. armor. Uh, Looks good. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I like it. It's got some effects. Mm -hmm. So I actually, this is something that you can purchase in the uh, in the store. If you, you see it at the top right there, if you click right on the D-pad, you can go to the store purchase this if you like but i got it by spending opals chris so uh if you talk oh. to retta at your settlement retta is a young child who you may recognize from assassin's creed origins but deals in the trade of opals uh will give you contracts for them and um you can fulfill those contracts and by doing so you will be rewarded with opals and he has a weekly and daily rotating sh item shop that sells uh sells items that you can find in the store. So it's a great way to get them for free. Nice way to gear up. You're looking good, Yusuf. Let's get out of here and yes. go go chat or, you know, go go chop. Chat or chop, that's what I need to see. Chat or chop. Chat. <laughs> actually, you, it's kind of oh. nighttime here. Could you meditate? Oh, actually, it looks like there's a party, so go ahead. I was wondering if you could meditate and, like, it'd be daytime. I mean, we can nicer. do this. Oh, also, one of the things I want to point out, very, very handy tip. Uh, if you push down on the D-pad, if you're playing on a uh, controller, you get this menu. It, this is also a yes. quick save. So you push, you oh, see the little prompt on the bottom yeah, there. Yeah, Press yeah, X to quick right. save. That's how you do that. But we're just going to meditate real quick on these stairs in front of everyone in a very busy thoroughfare. And uh, Thank yeah, you. That's how that works. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, type hashtag giveaway if you want to enter to win a PlayStation 5 copy. Festive. Too We're only festive. doing the PlayStation 5 giveaway right now. It'll end very fires, soon. Fires, Type it. And, every match and then we'll give it to the winners. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre's lit. God, Everyone's have I failed celebrating too much. Young. Peace, Trickley. I'll do what I can to calm things. Ah, yes, Eivor, that very calming force. <laughs> All right, so I need to calm the rowdy guests around Hemphill. What tools do you have in your inventory to allow you to calm down guests? Chris, uh, an axe is great for calming folks down. <laughs> calm down! How dare you I mean, I guess it could work. Or, you know, I could just beat them uh, into unconsciousness. 
if you think about it, unconscious people are pretty calm. What is this Voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help, fire, oh no. Uh, it's on fire, Yusuf. Yeah, this whole building's on fire. We gotta you get gotta, in somehow. You gotta do something here. Alright. Oh. Oh, it seems like we can just walk in. Save. The booze. You almost chopped it, man! Be careful! This this looks like an explosive, explosive pot. I mean, How was this is, a gift? There is a little bit of fire on top of it. Just a little, though. Oh, oh no, oh no. You dare Surtur's heat, yes? A most potent What did you do? It's okay. I saved it. I saved it first. Oh, yep. Dip your horn right in there. A bit of drink in the belly. It's fine. It's fine. I think you just submitted it before dropping it, so it counted. Okay. Yep, we're let's good. we're good. Let's do it. Did you dip your horn? I I, I just went. Avar went hand first in there, and uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna say not very sanitary, but you know what? Different times. I see folks asking about the Bayek outfit in the chat. Uh, we have no news about Bayek outfit today. There uh, is uh, going to be an update coming next week, though. With uh, we can say that uh, that we'll have more information. On uh, a lot of updates coming to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh yeah! All right, this giveaway is almost over. It's a giveaway for PS5. Oh, no. Your last chance to type it in right now. Oh my God! What is happening? You're slaughtering chicken. The famous fighting roosters. Wow! You just slaughtered so many chickens. Carnage. Clear of roosters. Chris, don't tell me. Don't try to pretend you've never gotten drunk and fight fought a whole horde of roosters. Listen, I think up on your silver pedestal. I mean, I, I can't, I can't not. No, no, I never fought a rooster. <laughs> I've wanted to fight. I like how you considered it. You're like, wait, have I? Uh, <laughs> can I definitively make that claim? I have for sure wanted to fight a rooster. Uh, I took a trip once to Guatemala, and there was a rooster staying in a, living in a place nearby. And I learned on that trip that roosters do not merely crow at the dawn of the sun; they crow any old time they want to, including <laughs> all through the night. So yes, I, you've wanted to fight a rooster. I had I've had murderous thoughts about killing a rooster, but you know it just felt like it's someone else's property. I can't really get up in there. Plus, I don't have a broadsword. What am I gonna do? You dare sure. wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth? I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid wow. enough to She's try feisty. sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door. I only did right by his immortal soul. <laughs> you will get what is right for you. Calm yourselves, wow. all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Okay. I'm sure the door is locked. Yep. Oh, we gotta find a key. Find a key. Oh, I see a little key. I see a little key. Someone left it up. Someone chucked it up on the roof. Is it? I don't know. That's where it looked like it was. Oh no, it's all. Oh, it looks like it's inside. Oh, we're just gonna break in the old-fashioned way. With arrows. Uh, folks, the giveaway is closed for the PlayStation 5 copies of Assassin's Creed oh Valhalla. We will be doing a PC giveaway soon, but not right now. Upset. If you type hashtag giveaway now, you're not doing anything. But congrats to wrong. the winners. You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. I'll walk, mm -hmm. I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I, I will follow you out. Wow, brave guy. Okay. You've got the key. Use it. Get that out here now. Okay. What are they? Why are they so mad? They, they, he wants to send their beloved Jarl to to heaven instead of Valhalla, Chris. Oh heaven! Come oh, on, man. Read the room. How dare you? <laughs> oh. You pay for uh, your wrongs, desecrator. Yeah. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. 
Let's hear it. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> Who cares? What's gonna little... stop embarrassing yourselves? What are you thinking? What? Chris? What's Avor's take here? You were wrong to burst a dead Jarl. I mean, he did what was right in his heart, but like, it really, it, did, it seems like it went against their beliefs. Who cares if a little water? That's kind of just demeaning everyone's beliefs. Stop embarrassing yourselves. I don't that's know. Diminish that's diminishing everyone's beliefs. That's everyone. That's everyone. This is, is just insulting the, the Saxon man. I think yeah. he was wrong. I think Heminger was a Norse pagan. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I think, I think he was wrong. Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only these are your neighbors. Respect them. Learn Respect their ways. them. Learn their ways. Draw breath long into old age. Mm. Wisdom of Abor. Abor, pretty oh, wise. No. <laughs> there you are. Baptized. <laughs> <laughs> Abor's just like, all right, y'all can have him. Seems to have been restored. Some order seems oh, to Okay, we can, let's revive him. <laughs> <Help us laughs> lead out. There you go. All right, get back. You took a little lick in. You learned a lesson. I mean, that's how lots of lessons are learned in the Viking situation. I mean, in any situation. Incredibilis, I do not have a prediction about AC Odyssey rewards, but like Yusuf said, there's going to be an update from the dev team on upcoming stuff next week. So, uh, yeah, be sure to follow Assassin's Creed on Twitter. That's a great place to get information, or just go to the Assassin's Creed official website. I'm proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi, with time. Yes, it will. The Alding is tomorrow. Yarl must be chosen. I should speak with Suniva about this. All right, so they're gonna have to pick a Yarl soon, Chris. Uh, they're gonna have to pick a Yarl soon. I don't want to. This, this it seems like it'll be a very important point in this uh, story, and I don't want to spoil that. Um, meanwhile, there are still some mysteries and treasure out here. That yes, I think we should travel. <laughs> Let's snot our way over to the yes. fast travel point there. Do a little <laughs> more investigating, maybe a little more chopping it up. Britt the Gamer Girl was saying uh, you should try dual wielding spears. Oh, I don't I know do if that. that's something you can do, uh, but I'm intrigued. We can make sure. this happen, Britt the Gamer. My spears aren't super upgraded, but uh, we can make it happen. It's okay. It's okay, Yusuf. You, you know? It's okay to not no. be super upgraded. Cadfart ruined in. Cadfart spear. Make them a little lighter. Ability damage buff. Fafnir's fang. That's a good name for a spear. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Oops. We'll add some stun there, and then we'll put the ability damage back on. All right. We can upgrade them a little bit. Why not? You've got plenty of materials in your bag. All right, you're going to be fine. You said your max level. Okay. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Kaka! Come on, where's the bird noise? If the game is going to make the bird noise, I'll make the bird noise. That's my promise <laughs> to you, folks. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy you are, Chris. You know, I'm here for you. And folks, we have one more giveaway to do. And while Yusuf is on his way to mix it up at whatever his destination is, we're going to kick it off. This is going to be the giveaway for PC. You are going to be able to put this code into Ubisoft Connect uh, and unlock yourself a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PC. Once the giveaway starts, look in the chat for when Boobot and our mod Yubiyubble kicks it off. Then type in hashtag giveaway. One time, you'll be entered to win the raffle. Go now. It's open. Type in hashtag giveaway to win a PC copy of the game. Once the giveaway closes, we'll select two winners. Send them the codes via Twitch Whisper. That's a DM, basically a message only they can read. And then just go ahead and put that into your Ubisoft Connect app on PC. Bada boom. You'll be Valhalla it up. It'll be great. Bada boom. Yusuf, you're riding a big wolf. You're very high level. You're exploring Snottinghamshire, and yes. what's that in the distance? It's a mystery, Chris. I'm gonna find out what the mystery is. Can we get a bird bird flyby of bird the mystery flyby? first? 
yeah. What do you see soon? Just gives us a chance to appreciate a little bit more of the scenery. Okay, we're here on a Interesting. rocky hillside. Interesting. Looks like there's some ruins over here. Someone's in there. That's a person, right? It, it is a person. <laughs> Looks like a person. Uh, they got a little hut there. The fire's burning, so maybe they're going to welcome you. Oh, it's a it's a Drenger, Chris. Oh, yes. It's Drenger time, baby. Yusuf, what's a Drenger? A Drenger, Chris, is a fierce Viking warrior. Uh, there are very... Every, anytime you see this symbol, it's one of the mysteries on the map uh, in various regions. It is an, an old Drenger, a former companion of Ragnar Lothbrok, uh, mm -hmm. who is, of course, the father of the sons of Ragnar. Um, and a fierce Viking warrior that came to England uh, long ago. And uh, it's kind of like the uh, the person everyone references and reveres for how, how great he was. And these people seek a glorious death, Chris. Why did scheduled old frenzy seekers say saggy britches? What is that? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. Wetlands, your longhouse, your meat hall. This is a Drenger's ritual chamber. I am Skeghold. Skeghold can't turn around. Oh, she gonna turn around. She's gonna turn around and pop off. It's gonna be frenzy time. Are you ready for a frenzy? I understand. For an opponent, you could do worse than me. I got, I got new weapons. So it doesn't You've got well dual me. spears, Yusuf. How much experience do you have with dual spears? Almost zero. Brit, where are your dual spears, Dips? Yusuf needs them ASAP. For if we are not in the same state, I will have an unfair advantage. Ooh. What is the potion then? Mead and rotten bread? A sacred <laughs> ale of high volatile and spirits bread. and Thor's fungus, the Ammonita Mascaria. Yes. Ragnar Eat mushroom. I would quaff this great elixir. <laughs> For each new raid, I often saw him try to right, get high and fight to the death. Drink of the brew that bubbles. Listen, she seeks the frenzy. The Chris, what do you think of this haircut? Together. You got long hair. I think you could. Yeah, my hair has been long. It's getting long. I'm gonna try out some new looks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the full shave. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't discount it. Well, you are obviously a fan of the full shave. Exactly. Brief reminder. <laughs> Don't get high and fight crazy warriors, but uh, hey, we're gonna do it! We're Folks, gonna do type it. in hashtag giveaway to win a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla for PC. May the giveaway is not gonna go first. much longer. Type it in it now. If you already have typed it in, you're all ready. You have returned. A true drinker does, does not run. Not run. We continue the journey, but we must take the ritual formula. Oh, oh, did I not drink it? Glug, there we glug, go. glug. Just dunker, dunker <laughs> away. <laughs> That's how you get a frenzy started right there. Face it. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, oh, oh. Ooh. We're starting. Yeah, we're starting. He's, got the moves. he's light on his feet. Oh, he's got two spears. Oh, under the leaping attack. Wow, the spears are so pokey. What is she rocking? What's Skeggle? She got a hammer and a dagger, it seems like. Okay. Oh, man. These things Gosh. are not doing enough damage. They're so long. Whoa, what a jump! Amazing. Come on, you got full adrenaline here. I got, I got some. some. You wanna jump? You wanna leap? What is he jumping? You can You're jump. feeling froggy, then leap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a nice one. Oh, yes. Just the mess talking. A yeah. Sack, I think. <laughs> oh, Chris. I just caught her throwing knife and threw it back at her. That's a that, missile redirect skill that I'm, I, Dranger, I enjoy quite much. Who's the true Drenger? Missile redirect, it sounds like. Limbo for you. Oh. Just keep throwing Did man. you learn your lesson the first time? She is in a frenzy. She's not exactly making, you know, oh, wacky decisions. She feels it. She feels death see. coming. Send the Drenger to her desired death. Oh yeah, she's down. You fought well, and our journey. Wing call says you're good, now and Compact Dad says is. this combat looked dope. I transcend. Combat is a lot of fun, especially the more abilities you get, the more skills you upgrade. Like the missile redirect is so cool. It's so good. Okay. So confirm, confirm kill. Just uh, don't want you awkwardly coming back from, uh, you know. Death. She doesn't want to come back from death either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, chief. 
Drenger defeated. And that's it. You've that's done it. Do that. Only one mystery left in Snottinghamshire, Yusuf. And a mastery point for your troubles. I gotta say, I have fought one Drenger so far, and uh, someone mentioned it earlier in the chat. It's in a cave just near your starting uh, spot in Norway. Right. And uh, that Drenger whooped my booty. So <laughs> I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna go back later when I got a little more juice. That's that's probably fair. That's probably a good idea. Should we should we take on the last mystery, Chris? Yusuf, if you can get there quick, we can do it. All right. Okay. Folks, this is your last chance. Type in hashtag giveaway to enter to win one of two copies for Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PC. You'll enter it through Ubisoft Connect, and uh, you'll have a great time fighting Drenger with dual spears. How did you feel about it, Yusef? You tried out the dual spears. I liked it. They, yeah. they attack pretty fast. They like they're not they're not hitting for as much damage as like the longsword and the axe, the Dane axe mm -hmm. uh, combo. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, they come out fast, and I appreciate that. Yeah, speed can be nice. Can be Especially nice. when you're when you're dual wielding to cuz previously unless you have the dual wielding skill, uh, the dual wielding heavy skill, you can only equip one spear at a time. So I thought they would still be a, a slow attacking thing uh, combo, but uh, no. Pretty pretty agile, pretty quick. Oh look, we got a little farmland here. You're just careening through farmers out, you know. You know, getting the soil ready for the winter to kind of like overwinter and not grow much, and then boom! Giant wolf warrior kind of looks like cruises by. Oh hey, what's up, salties? No, no, no. We got mysteries no, to solve. I got mysteries. All right, we're focused here, folks. Uh oh, you're on bored. a mission. Avor sets her mind to something. Oh nice, you're getting closer to the coast. A little bit. The coast. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just the river. Well, it felt, I was feeling the coastal vibe. It's a little warmer. There's, you know, it's less, uh, it's less snow, less snow than in the interior. That's kind of the vibe I was feeling. Of course, you can. Uh, one of the, one of the additions Valhalla made to the Assassin's Creed verse is your the ability for your mounts to swim, so you don't have to get off your wolf or horse when you're going through. A That's lake. nice. That's a nice addition. Yeah. Uh, speaking of your wolf, Steph F wants to know what is your wolf's name. Oh, my wolf's name. So that's a good question. I have two wolves. Uh, I have, I have a wolf. I'm sorry. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is one of them. What is, uh, I should have brought. I should have brought up the other wolf. I can only bring it out in in combat. Um, but if you see here, I map um, my A button to my bow ability. If I push that A button while I'm aimed at an ability uh, or at an enemy, uh, my pet wolf Chewy will come attack them, uh, and it's pretty freaking dope. Chewy, as in it chews on your enemies. <laughs> That's exactly why. That's exactly how we named it. <laughs> but what is your big white wolf's name? Uh, I have not named the big white wolf. Do, does chat have any suggestions? We're now taking suggestions. Oh, Brandon of Clonford. That wolf is probably 500 pounds. Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, the giveaway's over, folks. Now what you need to type into chat is a name suggestion for Yusuf's giant white wolf you've seen him gallivanting around on. Baka, says Wizard. Maya. Rick. Rick. True darkness. <laughs> Fenris. Okay, strong. Fenris. DeWolfke. <laughs> oh, DeWolfke is, is one of the options that you can name the, your attack wolf. Oh, okay. Nice. Fluffy. Uh -huh. Dog meat. <laughs> Baka. I've been seeing Baka. Nice as it, Queen. Geralt. Geralt. <laughs> Are there any other famous pets in Assassin's Creed lore history? Oh, oh this, this, this feels promising. Feels famous promising. pets? Yeah, of course. I mean, of course, you have Jacob and Evie Fry's uh, gerbils that they had <laughs> on the train. <laughs> but you're going somewhere with this. Edward Kenway <laughs> definitely had like a pet <laughs> ferret that would just run all around the rigging on the boat. Actually, Chris, very cool that you bring up Edward Kenway. Um, Thank so you. Thank you very much. The game, folks, doesn't take you out of the Animus much, but I encourage you to do so at times. Um, hop out of the Animus, you can do it anytime from the inventory screen. Um, same way you change uh, your a -words gender if you like. Um, but do it and hop around in his Layla, talk to Sean, uh, Hastings and, uh, and, and Deborah, um, and just investigate certain things because they add some, so there's a, the assassin, there's, there are two assassins in this game, of course, Basim and, uh, Hytham. Hytham is mm -hmm. the one that is at your settlement that you, uh, that you, that you talk to, uh, most when you're, when you're finishing quests, but 
there's a bit of a tip, there, there's a bit of a clue that they give you that um, Edward Kenway must have another British assassin that comes much further down the line, um, must have read up on the Hidden One's lore and the Hidden One's history, and uh, it seems like he may have named his son Haytham after Hytham in this game. And of course, oh. if you played AC3, you know Haytham is the person you play as at the beginning of AC3. He is the father of Connor uh, and the leader of the Templar Order in that game. All right. Uh, Yusuf, back to no, the river, It's all please. connected. Go back to the river. Go back We're to the We're going to end this on a boat ride. On a boat ride. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Can I, can I bring out my... Oh, wait, no. I saw, I saw, I saw people to fight. I want to, I want to... You, all right, you want Chewie to come out. I want Chewie to come out, exactly. Excellent. Excellent. Where, where were those people? Okay, we're just going to head to the river. Hamudok, loving the game. So glad you are. We're super stoked you guys have been, uh, have tuned in to check us out. Tim Taylor Ford, congrats for the code. We gave away eight codes today, folks. We have no more to give away, unfortunately. Uh, but we're super stoked that you, uh, joined us here. We're going to go for a little boat ride. Actually, are you going to try to do the, uh, the wolf attack? I'm going to try and do the wolf attack. They were on this side of the, the, the river, right? Yes, they were. Oh, maybe I can just fight boars. Wolf on wolf? Wolf on boar. Wolf on boar, I mean, that's... There's Chewy! Oh, what's up? Get chomped. Chewy chomped. So, in level oh, Chewy, level Chewy. one of the ability, Chewy just comes out and, like, attacks and, like... If it's a human enemy, we'll, like, pin them to the ground. And then, level two, Chewy stays and fights with you. I like the pin to the ground move. Get him, or... Chewy! Sick him! Chewy versus boar, do not interfere. Okay. This is nature. Right. Nature. Chewy? Find the way. Do Chewy. your thing. Do your thing. Chewy's uh, getting real tuckered out. Okay, there we go. No, interfere. This is taking too long. Okay. Chewy needs help. Chewy's there to help. Mm, we eating boar legs tonight. Pumba? No! Yes. Oh, okay, wait, wait. I think I think the enemies are here. They're right here. Oh, oh, another boar. A boar. Oh, God, look at them. Look at those tusks. They go too many Ow. directions. They go up and out and down and around. There's too many directions for boar tusks. Like, how does that... doesn't make any sense. I mean, nature has... Oh! Oof. All right, that was a little grody. Lots of leather, though. Okay. Alpha Rookie oh, saying, I played this for hundreds of hours. I'm loving it. I'm glad. Super nice. glad to hear it. I have also played for hundreds of hours, and I'm loving it. Reagan saying, thanks for hosting the giveaway and giving us a peek into the gameplay of AC Valhalla. You're welcome. Glad y'all could join us today. Illuminate the sky. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Oh, oh. I, haven't, I haven't even seen that. <laughs> the extra Chewy, punch him. at the end. Where's the Chewy? Punch. What'd you do to Chewy? Chewy! Yeah, Yusuf, I want to see some heavy spear finishers. Okay. Okay. I want to see some. Some oh! Oh! Oh <laughs> my god! Oh, that worked out better than I could have imagined. Oh man! Ooh, how's that? How's okay. that? Okay. Okay. Can I get Chewy in here? There we. There's Chewy. Oh, what? Wow, he's blowing fire at you. Now that's the one-two punch. The one-two punch. There it is. Got it. First try. <laughs> Was it the first try though? <laughs> Listen. Uh, the transcript says first try. You can't really argue. <laughs> oh yeah. Goodbye to your head. Oh jeez. I'm just gonna do that again because I, I love that. No heads for one. anyone here. No heads. Heads. Off. Off. There's heads. Oh, that was poison. Oof. Ugh, Chris. This is a fun game. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I, I had a great time. Uh, folks, we do have to wrap up. Chris, we've done all our giveaways, right? We've done them all. We've done them all. We spread joy throughout the land. Congrats to the winners. Folks, we are going to send you off to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla stream right now. Give you a look at another part of the world, maybe, or maybe they're still in Snottinghamshire. I don't know. It is the place to be. It is. I mean, with a name, with a name like that. <laughs> uh. Super thanks for tuning in, folks. Remember, tune in next week. Announcement, new announcements on upcoming content coming from the Assassin's Creed development team. Follow the channel, and you'll join us for some live streams next week, and we'll have a grand old time. Yusuf, thank you so much for playing. Always a pleasure. Chris, uh, it's always it's always a good day. Anytime I can play games with you on a Friday, it's, it's a good day. Yeah, buddy. All right, folks. That'll do it. 
Spread some positivity this weekend. Have fun playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla or whatever you're playing. We'll see you next week. Take care, y'all.